Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm going to be talking to you about the book The Higher Power of Lucky by Susan Patron. It won the Newbery Medal. And it's about a little girl named Lucky who's growing up in the town of Hardpan, California. It's a very small town out in the middle of the desert. It only has a population of 43 people. Uh, Lucky's mom was electrocuted a few years before the book starts by a down power line, and Lucky's dad was never really in the picture to begin with, so Lucky's being raised by Brigitte, who's from France, who is her father's ex-wife. And Lucky has two best friends. One is Miles, who is five years old, and who likes to go around trying to get adults to give him cookies. Big Newtons are his favorite. And her other best friend is Lincoln, who is obsessed with tying knots, oddly enough. One of the things that Lucky does throughout this whole book is eavesdrop on her town's 12-step meetings. And these are meetings like Alcoholics Anonymous and Smokers Anonymous and Overeaters Anonymous, where people talk about their stories and how they hit rock bottom and find their higher power. So Lucky sort of becomes obsessed with finding her own higher power because she thinks that if she finds it, she can solve a lot of her problems that way. And I'm going to read a little excerpt from the book to you. It's Lucky thinking about what her higher power might be. HP, she was thinking. HP stood for hard pan, but she realized it could also stand for higher power. Maybe hard pan was short Sammy's higher power because of its slowness and peacefulness and sweet smellingness, even though it was old and junky and out in the middle of nowhere. Lucky wondered if she could ever get Brig Brigitte to love hard pan as much as she loved France. And throughout the whole book, Lucky is trying to find her higher power because she's afraid that Brigitte is going to abandon her and return to France and leave Lucky to live in some orphanage in Los Angeles. She, so she thinks if she finds her higher power, she can somehow convince Brigitte to stay. Um, I really love reading this book. It's completely adorable. A lot of the stories that she tells Miles earlier in the book reminded me of stories that I used to tell my little sister. Lucky talks about the olden days of hard pan and talks about Chesterfield the Borough, who is a donkey who goes around in the old mines in the town. It's really funny. I laughed out loud several times during this book. Um, the character of Lucky kind of reminded me of the character of Ramona from the Beverly Cleary books. So if you like those, maybe you like this book. Um, I wouldn't recommend this book for younger kids. It is kind of controversial. It contains the word scrotum a few times in the beginning and once in the end. So it's definitely not a book for kids who aren't mature enough to handle words like that. And it also deals with some kind of dark themes like death and adoption and how Lucky handles those, and a big part of the book is talking about the 12-step anonymous meeting. So if students aren't mature enough to handle those topics, it might be a book to skip over. But I really enjoyed it. I think you would, too. If you want to read a book that's really entertaining and funny, I would definitely recommend The Higher Power of Lucky by Susan Patron.